Hello, um, in this video I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of a open source parabolic SAR trading robot for the CTrader trading platform. This is for educational purposes only and we provide the full source code and instructions to allow you to actually enhance this trading system. You can download it from our website free of charge. But what I'm going to do first is go ahead and show you the demonstration in CTrader. When you open up CTrader you want to go to the automate tab on the bottom left you want to select the parabolic SAR indicator that you've just, sorry, CBOT that you've just installed. You should see the source code on the right hand side. Now, this code here is written in Microsoft C Sharp. It will allow you to actually modify the code, add existing, uh, sorry, add additional risk management um, code and additional, log additional logic to actually give you some more trade signals. It's a very basic startup. It just uses the parabolic SAR indicator and decides on the result of the indicator and the value of the previous candle, whether it should open a buy or sell position and some basic um, risk management, which is a take profit and stop loss. I'm gonna go ahead and add a CBOT instance for the Euro USD. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna run a optimization just to optimize these parameters here. So you've got the volume, the stop loss, um, take profit, and the parameter settings for the parabolic SAR indicator. Now, when you run this CBOT, you don't need the indicator on the chart because it runs in memory, um, but you can actually um, add it to the chart just to clarify what you're looking at to make sure it's running correctly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the optimization tab. I'm now gonna go to the first setting here and change the starting capital to 1000. I'm gonna leave all the other settings and set the live spread, which is zero because it's Euro USD. I'm now gonna go to what parameters I want to optimize. Once I select this, I only want to optimize the stop loss and take profit and the actual indicator settings. So this is a very basic optimization for an example CBOT. So we want to optimize the, the stop loss between 1 and 100. What that means is it will find the optimal stop loss between 10 and 100. Sorry, not 1, 10 and 100. And I want to do a step of 1, not 0 0.1, because it will take too long. So this will go 10, then 11, then 12, up to 100. Again, for the take profit, I'm going to go 10 to 100 and I want to do step one again for the min AF for the parabolic SAR I want to do 0 0.01 I think the value was 0 0.02 so I'm going to do 0 0.01 and I want to go up to 0 0.1 because the actual default value for the parabolic SAR min AF is 0 0.2 now I don't want to go uh, 0 0.01 each step, I want to do zero point, sorry, I want to do 0 0.01. So each step will be 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Again, for the max, I'm going to do it as 0 0.1 and a maximum of one, and I want to step 0 0.1. Okay, so that's our settings now for optimization, the optimization of this CBOT. The next thing I'm going to do is set the start and end date. I'm going to run a back test just going back one year. So I'm going to scroll this to 2022. 06 and the same month which is the 28th and now we've got also oh, it's the 29th today I'm going to go 29th the 29th of 2000 uh, the 6th 2022 to 29th of 6 2023 this is one year of optimization we're going to run on this CBOT I'm going to select the auto select the best pass so this will auto find the best pass and I'm going to click the play button and this will actually load the data and start the optimization now at the bottom of the screen you should see the equity graph showing um, trades that have won and lost for this pass. It will do many passes until it finds the best settings. I'm going to pause the video until the optimization is finished. And once it's finished, I'm going to show you the end result. Okay, so the optimization is completed. It took three minutes, 55 seconds. The highlighted row here is the one that's been optimized. Now to apply these settings to the parameters on the right hand window, I just click on the apply button. And you can see it's set a stop loss is 45, take profit is 37, and the indicator values, which is 0 0.04 and 0 0.3. Now I've applied these settings. I can just do a quick back test to make sure that these values are correct. Now remember that a back test is no indication that you're going to get the same results uh, when you run it on live data. It's just to confirm that your trade rules are correct and to make sure there's no um, hidden issues that you might um, see. Also, you'll need to use your trading skills um, as a manual trader. You can't rely on this as an automated system. Plus, it's an educational CBOT, so I wouldn't start using this for live trading or any type of trading. I would just look at it um, to add additional features and go from there. So I'm going to go 29th, oops, not the 7th, but the 6th, 
to the 6th, 2006, 2023. I'm going to set the same starting capital, the same live spread, click play. This will run the back test. As you see, that's an equity growth graph here. You can see the number of trades that it's um, um, submitted. You can see the actual growth. If you go to trade statistics window, if I expand this, you can see that um, over the period of the last year, from a starting capital of 1,000, it made 17% profit or 18% as it's shown up here. And it had a balance drawdown of 3.89 and equity drawdown is 4.23. So that just gives you a rough idea how you would actually go ahead and um, optimize and backtest using a very, very basic CBOT. Um, what I'm gonna do now, these parameters have been set. You can save them here by clicking on the save icon. Um, so again, I'll go through the code. This is a very basic example originally uh, provided by ctrader.com or Spotware, sorry. So it's just a very basic example for you to start with. And it's part of our, um, CBOT starter kit um, that we're running. To actually find more about the CBOT starter kits, go to our website at clickalgo.com, go under trading software, algorithmic trading, CBOT starter kits. Now we're so slowly publishing more and more of these in here. So the example, the demonstration that I just showed you for optimization back testing is exactly the same for all of these CBOTs that we're going to publish here. Um, you've got the Bollinger Band one, whole moving average, market close, Market close just closes on market conditions, uh, MACD and simple moving average. So that's it. It's a very basic example to show you. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and we should be publishing more videos to help you with CBOT starter kits in the future. Thank you.